but yeah. there are some differences you should be aware of when deciding which kind of TV to buy. And Dan Thompson with RM Technologies, one of our contributors, joins us once again this morning with details on this. So, where do you want to start? Well, high definition televisions are all the rage these days. And of course, with Christmas coming up, we got to start thinking about getting one if you haven't gotten one already. Uh, so what we want to look at is how do you buy these things? I mean, because it can be daunting. You walk in Best Buy, they've got a thousand of these things. How do you pick one out, right? right? Uh, so what we want to focus on is there's really four criteria that we can look at uh, on how to choose one, uh, and that is size, price, resolution, and inputs, uh, okay. which sounds like a lot, but we can swallow this pretty quickly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> break okay. it down, break Good. it down. All right, all right, all right. So size uh, being the first one, this is purely personal. Uh, the only thing really to think about here is take a measuring tape with you because these things, they may not look that big in the store, but you get them home and they're going to look humongous in your space. So right. you may think that 72 inch is what you want, that you get at home, it's going to look kind of <laughs> silly. So uh, take a measuring tape. Uh, the next thing, of course, is price. This is purely personal. Uh, choice as well. Uh, the thing about price is the bigger they get, the price also gets uh, bigger as well, obviously. Um, but the good thing about that right now, though, is there's a lot of new manufacturers coming out, uh, so that means the market is really just flooded, so prices are falling. Uh, you can easily find an HDTV for around a thousand bucks or less, even, uh, if you do a lot of shopping. Uh, so the main key, then, uh, is resolution, and this is really what we're talking about when you get a high-definition def high television. It's what sets them apart, uh, and these are things like you probably heard the numbers 720p, 1080i, and all yeah. this kind of stuff. Well, this is what tells us how good of a quality of an image that we're going to get. Uh, and the thing to remember here uh, is that higher is better. Okay. Uh, so 720 uh, it was going to be better than your standard def, which is 480. Uh, and then as you go higher, obviously the picture gets sharper. Okay. The next thing in there is the I and the P. What does that mean? Well. To make it simple for everybody, just remember that P is better than I. Uh, so <laughs> when you go so to the you stores, want a P. yes, you want a P. So 7, 720p is where it's at. Uh, now all the rage right now, though, is the 1080p. So if you've right. got to have the latest and greatest, that's what you're going to want to get. But if you're price shopping, uh, you may not want to go with the, the 1020 or 1080p uh, simply because there's really not a lot of content out there for them yet. If you right. don't have an HD DVD player or a Blu-ray disc player, uh, you're really not going to use it anyway. Okay. So if you've got no plans for that, I would skip it. Yeah. Uh, and then, of course, the last thing on the list is inputs. So what does this mean? Well, this basically dictates how many things you can plug into your TV. Uh, so if you've got DVD player, you've got cable, you've got all this kind of stuff, you really want to sit down and think about this before you go to the store uh, because you may come home with a TV that doesn't have enough inputs. So, like, you'll have to leave your Xbox unplugged or something right. like that. Which uh, would be tragic. That would be very tragic. <laughs> <laughs> and so here's the hint is the cheaper models will have less input. So think about that when you're looking. All right. What's your pick for the best TV, real quick? Putting it uh, on the spot. You know, the Sony, the Sony really has a good plasma screen. They always have the sharper images. Okay. Uh, but again, you know, just go in, sit down, and look at them all. That's the key. Is read some reviews and then just go look You'll for be, yourself. They'll all be running together. It's like smelling perfume. You'll be like this after a while. Like, which one's better? <laughs> You'll be seeing spots. <laughs> all right. We'll be right back with more 10 News today. Don't go away.